Thank you for checking out crypto.chartguys.com, the source for technical analysis in the cryptocurrency world. We are proud to announce our own crypto alert system designed to give you the most critical technical trading information possible no matter where you are. Keep your eyes on the market with mobile or email alerts for MACD crosses, RSI levels, and even inside bar alerts for dozens of coins across multiple exchanges. New features and proprietary chart guys indicators are already in development. Our alert system is very easy to customize and utilize, so don't hesitate to sign up for the most effective crypto trading tool on the market at crypto.chartguys.com. Hello everyone, hope you're having a good Friday night. Going to do a quickie check-in here as not a whole lot has changed from our last video. What I was looking for ended up playing out, so we have a nice clear setup we'll go into in just a moment. Real quick, I've been focusing on the Canadian MJ sector more the past couple days. Even if you're not interested in that sector, I highly suggest checking out uh, yesterday's video and then how it played out today just because it's a really good lesson for technical analysis. I went into really in-depth details in terms of fundamentally what was going on and technically what was going on in my trade game plan and pretty much as detailed as I've made of a video because the setup was so clear and I was very confident of it. So wanted to share that with everybody. So I suggest checking that out, seeing how it played out and you know a nice little lesson there that we can apply to any market. So checking in on the big three, the daily time frame gave us that pullback I was looking for. So yesterday we were still looking strong on this bounce, the the little mini bounce that we have been seeing. And I was saying, you know, I don't want to see the bulls break this level. If they do, we have to worry about this previous resistance. And if we can just pull back from here and establish another higher low, it will be a perfect equilibrium pattern. The levels will be more clear. And that's what we got. So I'm really pleased with how this is shaping up. It's really going exactly according to plan over the last four or five days and now we have our higher low established so 10,305 is now the key support on bitcoin and we've got resistance of 11,690 11, and real quick just want to mention for the alert members uh, we did just add an ad abnormal alert indicator and we've got two more volume alerts coming down the pipeline and we'll do a video explaining those and how they work once those are ready and we have all of them ready to go but adding those alerts and then on to the next ones that we're going to be adding certainly a never ending uh, idealist. So back to those levels, it's 10,305 and 11,690. Those are the two levels. Again, I was focused on Canadian MJ today. There was a more, a better opportunity there that I saw. So I played that and I'm still sticking to my same thing. I'm not trading uh, the cryptos right now. I'm waiting for a break on this daily chart. When this daily chart gives us a break, it's going to signal a swing trade entry, not just a day trade entry, and whether that's bullish or bearish, I can't say. Again, technical analysis isn't predicting the future like everybody who doesn't is not familiar with it. Like that's what they think. It's reacting. I'm going to wait till this tight pattern breaks and then I'm going to react to it and jump on that momentum. If it's bearish, of course, I don't have a, an ability to short it, but I certainly would if I could. So that's the range that we're watching. We zoom into the four hour time frame. We can see those levels with a little bit more clarity. And really, it's just tightening up. We've been saying that we anticipate this weekend the break is going to occur. We had the futures end today. We had a little bull move that didn't do much. And that's because, in my opinion, it wasn't very significant. It's going to be this weekend, tomorrow or Sunday. We are very likely to see a clear bull break on this pattern on the daily time frame. And these are the two levels I'm watching right now. And maybe by tomorrow, if we haven't broken by tomorrow morning, uh, we will have some tighter ranges to be watching. And I'll come live tomorrow or at some point. Sometime this weekend, I'll go live and we'll look at some altcoins and we'll do some fun stuff. Let's look at Ethereum on the daily time frame. It's more bullish. Again, this has been the case for the past few days. Look at the higher low comparative to the previous low and compare it on Bitcoin. So here's Bitcoin on the daily with our higher low, much more significant on Ethereum, a lot more wiggle room before we would break support. So there's our new support level and our higher low, and we're right in the middle of this range. So the support I'm watching is 987.54, and the resistance is 1,098.74. That's still a pretty wide range that we've got going. And it's going to, it could stay in there, like I said, another day or two. So we're going to be watching those two levels. Here's a very similar chart on the four hour time frame, And we're just patiently watching. Again, those are the only two levels that really matter right now. The moves are not seeing as significant follow through as they have been. There have been, again, like I said, tradable opportunities, a couple percent, 3% if you make a good trade the past couple of days. But uh, the Canadian MJ opportunity was, you know, eight to 10% in one day. So Got to go where the volatility is at. And once we get comfortable with technical analysis, we can do that freely and be very agile and adaptive to the changing markets. The so Litecoin on the daily time frame, pretty solid bounce from the lows. So putting us right in the middle as well. Uh, we barely held that support. 
So I'm going to keep that same level, not worth changing that small amount. The level here was 165.01. We bounced off 166.15. When those support levels are that close, I'm going to choose the lower support level and use that as my guide. So that's 165.01 key support and the resistance level. There's a few up here, but it's 184.80 is the level I'm watching. So that's the range. We are very tight on the daily time frame. You look at the four hour and we've been within this channel for quite some time. So it's very simple. That's what we're watching uh, in terms of the range on the daily time frame for the big three. There are plenty of altcoins that will likely follow with the direction that we break and with the correlation picking back up. So we are in for a pretty decisive moment coming up here. It's, it's like I've been saying, it's going to be uh, significant in terms of the momentum and the direction for February. So if we see a bear break, let's go over scenarios. If we see a bull break on this daily time frame. We're going to be looking up at the next resistance of 12,985. And from there, we're going to be looking to maintain our higher lows that we've been forming and then start breaking these lower highs and get over these daily exponential resistances. If we see a bear break, we are going to see a test down to 9,000. Again, this weekly chart is extremely bullish. I look at this weekly chart and I would have no problems being a long-term bull in a weekly chart that looks like this. And we would see, if we see a break of 9,000, Again, it's not ideal, but it still doesn't ruin this chart and it doesn't ruin this trend. What would ruin this trend for me on the weekly time frame would be this size pullback, a bullish break on this daily equilibrium pattern, the bulls making their way back up to 15,000 and then pulling back and going from 15,000 to another lower high and then pulling back and breaking 9,000 and forming another lower low. So essentially the act of bouncing and then pulling back rather than just pulling back would be more significant to me on the longer term. This wasn't a significant bounce. This isn't much of a lower high, lower low. Again, it's still a potential bull flag, still just fine. But if we set another lower high and lo lower low, we're going to lose these exponential moving averages. We're going to see them make a bear cross, and it's going to be a lot more significantly bearish. People have been asking about the weekly MACD. Yes, it's worth watching, but it's also a lagging indicator. We've been watching this uh, weekly bearish MACD curl occur for the last three weeks. So it's not like it's all of a sudden going to cross and then everything's going to dump. It's already factored in to the market at this point. And we could very easily, you know, level out and see these moving out, these MACDs stay right close to each other. So long term, we're going to get a significant break this weekend. And it's not going to be the change of the trend and the end of this uptrend, even if it's a bear break. So just want to give that uh, insight. Really, the last consolidation low on this weekly chart is this one week of consolidation down at 5,511. That's a key level for me. Anything above that level, I consider a higher low on the weekly time frame. We could pull back, break 9,000, break 8,000, 7,000, and bounce off 6,000. If we did that all on this pullback, I would call that a higher low. And the bulls would still have the uptrend in their favor. You can see that every period of consolidation has been met with continuation. This period of consolidation has not ended. We haven't you know, confirmed any reversal candlesticks or anything like that. We had a little attempt by the bulls. And then we had some FUD hit and ruin that. So that's where we stand heading into the weekend. I will come on and you know sound the alarm as soon as the bull break occurs on the daily equilibrium pattern. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you soon.